Yeah. Boom. You know what the green lights mean. Roll that sh Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano the Third. Y'all guys third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider clicking the subscribe button bottom right hand corner. Now, chances are you are not new here because we are heavy in the NF over here on this channel. But it definitely has been a minute since he's been on the channel. I, I've been like fiending for some new NF. So when he when he said that he was dropping this, and uh, yo super hype super hype i was actually kind of concerned because texas is like in an energy crisis right now or our entire electrical grid has gone to shit because of the weather the arctic weather that we've gotten over the past week and then on top of that i was supposed to get my second dose of the covid vaccine today at 11 and that's when he premiered this but but it's like it's like the it's like the reaction gods all came through the the music gods were like yo you're reacting when it comes out because the covid vaccine got pushed like a minute after a minute after he said that he was doing and today is when the is when San Antonio got all electricity back. So I, I, I'm hype. I'm hype. That's all that we're gonna say. Follow your boy on Instagram, Twitter, and Discord, and Twitch, and all that. All those links are in the description below. But we got NF Clouds. Let's get it. I think this is a portion of the clip that he posted on the. Uh on Twitter and on Instagram. I didn't realize it was part of the music video. Calmly. <laughs> Yo, that was a dope transition. Like at the same, put his body in the same frame and everything. Then, and then we go into this living room. Calmly, feel myself evolving. Appalling so much I'm not divulging. Been stalling, I think I hear applauding. They're calling. Mixtapes aren't my thing, but it's been awfully exhausting. Yo, <laughs> yo. All right. There's this flow and this like the staccato plucking of the, uh, of I don't know what instrument it is. It could be the violin, could be the cello, but the like dog. It's just so playful. It sounds so light and bouncy. He said, I think I feel myself evolving, appalling so much that I'm so basically so much that I'm not saying so much that I'm not divulging to you. Like you have no idea what's going on behind the scenes behind in the background, which is true. NF and 21 Pilots, both of the fan bases, like anytime they put out anything because they're very private on Instagram, social media, they're not like all in your face. So anytime that they put out anything that's slightly cryptic, everybody's breaking it down for like a month. Oh, shit. What did this what did this three second video mean? But he said, been stalling. I think I hear applauding. They're calling mixtapes aren't my thing. Yo, that's fire. Cause like whenever he's gone for the amount of time that he's been gone for, everybody's like, where's NF? You know? Mixtapes aren't my thing, but it's been awfully exhausting. Hanging on to songs as long as daunting, which caused me to have to make a call I thought was ballsy, resulting in what you see today. Proceed indulging as always. The one trick ponies here. So quit your sulking. Born efficient. Got it. Dog, yo, so fire. The one trick pony is here. So, so quit your sulking. Cause people say that he's a one trick pony. People say that all he can do is just be sad on the mic. All he can do is write sad lyrics, the same sound, the same cinematics. Even, even I've criticized. I'm like, I need something new from NF because I can't have perception, the search, and then a third album that has that kind of sad sound. He said, holding on to songs this long is daunting, bro. Like, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine how how hard it is to write a song, record it, and then not put it out for the world to see for like a year. When I make a video, I want to I want to upload it right then and there. But again, the transition from when he closed the when he closed the uh, the refrigerator, and then where it transitioned perfectly into into the field. The one trick pony's here, so quit your sulking. Born efficient, got ambition, sort of vicious. Yep, that's me. Not artistic, unrealistic, chauvinistic. Not those things. Oh. The distance, so unrealistic, chauvinistic. Nah, that's not me. That's like that. That's the other side. You, if you want to hear that kind of shit, you can go listen to any other rapper that's out there in the game. Nah, that's not me. That's dope. Not artistic, unrealistic, chauvinistic. Not those things. Go the distance, so prolific, postal cryptic. Move swiftly, unsubmissive. The king of mischief, the golden ticket, rare sight to see. I stay committed, embrace the. Bro, the transitions are so fire. But he said posts are cryptic, and that's exactly what I was talking about when I said NF and 21 Pilots do that all the time. King of mischief, the golden ticket, rare sight to see. I stay committed, embrace the rigid, I'm playful with it. Yeah, basically, too great to mimic. You hate your bitter, no favoritism, that's fine with me. Create the 
the riddles Put trade in civil Unsafe for little Oh yes indeed It's plain and simple I'm far from brittle Unbreakable You following? I'm Bruce Willis in the train rack I'm like trading in your Yo I'm Bruce I'm Bruce what, what did he say? He said unbreakable Hold on I gotta go back Cause I was watching the music video Shit was funny He <laughs> High five I got it Don't worry about it No favoritism That's fine with me Create Riddles, put trade and simple, unsafe for little. Oh, yes, indeed. It's plain and simple. I'm far from brittle, unbreakable. You following? I'm Bruce Willis in the train wreck. I'm like, tra oh, he said, I'm Bruce Willis in the train wreck. And he said, unbreakable. Because Bruce Willis, uh, was it Bruce Willis? Nah, nah, that wasn't Bruce Willis in unbreakable, right? Unbreakable. Oh, shit, it was Bruce Willis. I thought, I don't know, every time I think of Bruce Willis and M. Night Shamlahan, or however you say his last name, I always think of the sixth sense. But I knew that Mr. Glass was uh was Samuel L. Jackson because his bone, because he was very brittle. All right, so it does make sense. He said, I'm far from brittle, unbreakable Bruce Willis, you know? This is dope. Unbreakable, you following? I'm Bruce Willis in the train rack. I'm like trading in your car for a new jack. I'm like having a boss getting upset because you asked him for less on your paycheck. I'm like doing headstands with a broke neck. I'm like watching your kid take his first steps. I'm like saying Bill Gates couldn't pay rent because he's too broke. Where am I going with this? Unbelievable. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yo, I was wondering where he was going. I'm like, what what? Are, I was trying to de like decipher in my head. I was like, where do what do all these things have in common? Like watching your kid take his first steps, like asking for a boss for a not a, not a pay raise, uh, like going down in pay. I was so confused, but then he said it unbelievable. <laughs> where am I going with this? Unbelievable. Yes, yes, inconceivable. See myself as fairly reasonable, but at times I can be stubborn. So if I have to, I will rock the boat. I don't tend to take the easy road. That's just not the way I like to roll. Shoot things probably unfeasible. I've done no red. Yo, that whole build up right there, fire, son. Yeah. He said, I'm incomparable. No one can compare to me. My replay value is phenomenal. Beat selection, remarkable. Dog. Like, yo, this this whole this whole build up right here, this whole like climactic moment, and then it drops back out. I was expecting the hook to come in, but nah. I don't even know if there's gonna be a hook on this song. We're already halfway through and I haven't heard anything. And he's basically saying, like he said, I'm a chill ass dude. I'm pretty reasonable, but I'll rock the boat if I have to, you know? Beat selection, remarkable. Slowly me down impossible. I'll rock no rollies. I don't hang around no phonies. I don't really got no trophies. I don't know why God chose me. Got something in the cup, ain't codeine. Changed my style, they told me. Now they come around like homie. Man, y'all better back up slowly. Back up slowly. Dog, this, this whole thing is fire. Right? Like, I'm expecting one hook. Like, one hook at the very end that's just gonna bring the whole song together. That's like, that's what I'm expecting from the buildup of the track and everything that he's talking about. And this kind of has like a, like a, the sound of the search. Like, I can hear the sound still, but like the subject matter and, and the playfulness and, and the swagger just sounds different than the search because the search was very low. It was very dark, very depressing. So I don't necessarily need like a switch up of sound in terms of like the instrumentals because this kind of sounds like it could go on the search, but the, but the, the lyrics and what he's saying are completely different and that's the only switch up that i really needed and he said i ain't got no trophies bro i swear i thought he was i i 100 thought that he was gonna be nominated for a grammy now they come around like homie man y'all better back up slowly back up slowly <laughs> who are you kidding how could you Ooh. doubt me i'm always delivered ripping the teeth out of the back of bro you hear that huh <sighs> in the background the choir <sighs> And then now we got the hi hat coming in with the actual with the actual like the rim shot or the snare, and then we got bass line. Such a such a solid build up up into up into the actual track. Yeah, the use of like the orchestral and and the the use of like the church choir sound it just adds so much like suspense, adds so much emotion to the to the instrumentals. Crazy good. Maybe I'm just a sucker for strings and choir production, and that's why I fuck with this production so heavy. But either way, yo. Crazy. Back up slowly. Who are you kidding? How could you doubt me? I've always delivered. Ripping the teeth out of the back of my mouth. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I had to, I, I'm still listening to the production. I didn't even, he, he might as well have not even been rapping right there. That's how much I wasn't paying attention to him. Back up slowly. Who are you kidding? How could you doubt me? I've always delivered. Ripping the teeth out of the back of my mouth. The close you get to my wisdom. See my initial thought was. Ripping the teeth out of the back of my mouth is the closest that you'll get to wisdom, bro. Holy shit. Sabar, closest you'll get to wisdom. Wisdom teeth ripping is the closest you'll get. That was fire. And how could you doubt me like I've never not delivered? 
which is true. He's pretty much delivered on every album exactly what his fans are wanting. But the goddamn choir, bro, it's wild. Holy, who are you kidding? How could you doubt me? I've always delivered. Ripping the teeth out of the back of my mouth. The close you get to my whistle. See my initial thought was the way. But what can I say? I had to come visit. Check on you guys. You're doing all right. You're yearly socked. Yeah, that's what I figured. They covered their heads up and never. Yeah, yeah, his flow is crazy right here. You get to my whistle. See my initial thought was the way. But what can I say? I had to come visit. Check on you guys. You're doing all right. You're yearly socked. Yeah, that's what I figured. They covered their heads up and never. Yeah, yo, my initial thought thought was to go away but i had to come check on everybody are y'all guys all right are y'all y'all good it's fire you're yeah, really socked yeah, that's what i figured they cover their heads up whenever i drop shake the whole industry put them in shock come out the clouds like a meteor rock then land in the earth like ready or not ain't no one like me to cream it yo yo he's coming hard right now this is this is what i needed from nf i needed that swagger i needed that drip and I, I need drip is drip is for right now sauce is forever you know this is a whole ass vibe son just the confidence and and the not cockiness i mean kind of cockiness maybe that's why i fuck with it people say that i can be a little cocky sometimes but it is what it is but he said they cover their heads whenever i drop and shake the whole industry i put them in shock like shockwave and shake and like like a like an earthquake come in like a meteor like a meteor and i'm not from this world shake the whole industry put them in Shot. Come on the clouds like a meteor rock and oh. land in the earth like ready and Oh, that's why the song is called Clouds. I didn't hear him say that the first time. I thought he said come out the closet. I was like, come out the closet like a meteor rock. What well, that don't even make sense. He said come out the clouds like a meteor rock. All right, now I get the song. The, the song title is so deceiving because clouds are soft and very airy and, and very peaceful whenever you're looking at clouds, but this is like the opposite of all of that. Come out the clouds like a meteor rock and land in the earth like ready and not. Ain't no one like me to cream me to crop. Don't even front, but they give me some props. I'll pick up your body and throw it a block. Okay, I admit it. That's over the top. Not <laughs> headlight looks every time I step my foot. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. We're switching transitions again. He said, I'll pick up your I'll pick up your body and throw it a block. It's over the top, but you get what I'm saying. I'm just being braggadocious. Okay, I admit it. That's over the top. Not hearing the headlight looks every time I step my foot on the ground. I get mistook for a lame with no weight to his name. Ground just shook. Let's oh. not beat around the bush. Even my B sides throw him off like how he do it. Some say I'm a great influence. I don't know about that, but I did do the best I could. Hollywood. Ho Yo, the flow switch ups are crazy. This entire track and the rhyme schemes are crazy. This entire track. There's really nothing to break down right there. He's being pretty straightforward in what he's saying. He's just basically saying like people don't people don't believe or people don't people don't agree with the level of confidence and talent that I have. Like every time I step my feet on the ground, people are mistaking me for someone for some lame who is who doesn't have who doesn't have weight to his name. Like bitch, you better understand that I am NF. You know, my name should hold just as much weight, if not more so than any other rapper in the game for a lame with no weight to his name ground just shook let's not beat around the bush even my b-sides throw him off like how he do it some say i'm a great influence i don't know about that but i did do the best i could hollywood hollywood hope nate doesn't go hollywood you ah. think that you'll know me good you think that you'll know me good hollywood hollywood hope nate doesn't go hollywood you think that you'll know me good you think that you'll know me Yo, that stutter and then the stuttering. Oh my God! Yeah, I hope Nate doesn't go Hollywood. If you think that, then you don't know me good. You don't. You don't know me well enough to know that that I'm never gonna go that route. I'm never gonna sell out. That's fire, dog. I don't know if you can hear it because the mic. But can y'all hear the sirens outside my house? It's because they know I'm listening to fire and I might burn the house down. You think that you know me? Stutter is crazy though. You think that you know me? I, 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 I always advance. Say how I fail. You know I stand. Raising the bar. I gotta expand. Top of the charts. I'm setting up. Yo, he says, stick to my guns, you can push all you want, but I'm not moving an inch. I reach for the stars and they fall in my hand. Like, yo, I am everything that everybody says that I am. I am that force that you need to reckon with. And basically everywhere that he's going in this music video, he's causing wreckage. He burnt the house down. He's causing this pile up. He, he, caused, he caused havoc in the, in the grocery store. Duh. So you want ain't moving an inch. I rarely mess. You know I'm relentless. Ain't got a choice, no way to prevent it. It's just who I am, and I don't regret it. See what I want, then I go get it. Follow my gut, I'm happy I did it. Beat all the odds, I ain't got no limits. Can it be stopped? You paying attention, I ain't gotta say it. They know where my head is, they know where my head is. Bro.
Yeah. Clouds. Oh, shit. We got a mixtape coming. Okay. That's why he said the mixtape thing. They're not really my thing. All right. Now I'm hype. Now I'm hype for... Yo. God damn that track, son. This... He really does just drop a track and everybody embraces it, right? Out of nowhere because it's the hardest shit we've heard in a, in some time. The instrumental is crazy. The instrumental sounds like the apocalypse with a like it sounds like uh it sounds like what's what's the name of the movie with Tom Cruise, World of Worlds? Shit, I don't know. I forgot the name of the movie. But you know which one I'm talking about where like the aliens come from under the ground and and they're basically causing the extinction the extinction of human beings. That's what it feels like with with the beat. It feels like oh shit. Nate is back once again, and he's off of his sad shit. He's on his fuck everybody. I am the greatest around here type shit. And the whole track, not a single hook throughout the entire thing. Just basically one long ass story that was leading up to that end. That The end that I thought that it, I thought the end was going to be a hook with a climax, but it wasn't. It was just like, it was just him saying I'm here on top of the, on top of the climax of the actual production. Yo. I am hyped for this mixtape. I have no idea when it's coming, but we are doing every single track off of it when it gets here. Deal? Deal. Yo, that brings us to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment down below. If you like what you see enough, please consider subscribing. These long form breakdowns, commentary, thoughts, feedback. This is how we get down around here. So if this is your vibe, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you're someone who's in a monetary capable position to help the channel and you get enough content, you get enough enjoyment out of it, then consider clicking the Patreon link. It's the only way that I do this full time for y'all guys is by the supporters that are over on Patreon. So if that, if you if you feel like you want to be part of that up uplifting movement then check out the patreon if you're someone who would rather support and you would rather you would rather subscribe to twitch or you'd rather support a streamer we're actually going to start streaming so click the second link in the description it is normally the streaming link and, and follow over there it's going to be a whole new style of content for the family we're trying to we're trying to expand the income we're trying to diversify and we're trying to diversify the content so there's something for everybody you know but other than that ladies and gentlemen hit up the hit up the social medias discord twitter and instagram i am active on every single one one of them but other than that that's what that brings us to the end of this video i appreciate everybody's time and like i always say at the end of all of my videos go out there in the world love and care for one another love and care for each other and i'll catch everybody on the next video peace